ask Tom on Home Show. Leon from Lake Jackson has a question about misty windows. Yeah, he's worried these, Tom, could be in need of mm. repair. Leon writes, in November of 2018, I purchased low E argon filled impact windows and they came with a Texas wind insurance certificate rating for the Gulf Coast. And during high humidity, cool days, some of them get condensation inside. After warming up, the moisture disappears, of course. I've been told by the store that it's common for windows to do this. They said that the windows are still sealed and that the argon is not leaked out. Is that true? And if not, then should I take my situation to the manufacturer? The windows came with a 25 year warranty and lifetime warranty on glass breakage. Uh, the seal's broken and there's moisture in there and it's gonna happen on and off. The, the answer to the first question, should this happen? No. Is this common? Only maybe the windows those people sell, I don't know. I don't know what kind of windows they are, but for real windows, I've had double pane windows in my house uh, since 1997, I've never had any moisture build up between the panes of glass. So the answer is no, it's not common. There's a problem. And the manufacturer will, if it's a good manufacturer, stand behind this particular one. Uh, this is a true problem. I would document it and I would somehow get them to do it because even if you bought the windows from somebody, they are responsible to replace the glass, the, the manufacturer. And so they'll actually send, in some cases, their own people out just to replace the glass because the window guy who put them in, if it's a window replacement or a new construction, they aren't, they aren't in the business of replacing parts on a window. That's going to come from the direct, directly, directly from the manufacturer. So we'll leave it at that. Secondly, the funny, interesting thing about argon, and this has always been a problem, nobody knows if it's there. There's no way to test for it. They don't even know, if, you can't even really tell if they put it in. Could they have had a bad day or a, a run on glass that they never got the argon in and somebody says, don't tell anybody, keep it moving? It happens, I'll guarantee it. So if there's a leak, <clears throat> the argon's gone. Uh, uh, it's just it's just not gonna be there. It's not a big deal, it raises the, the uh, R value about one point, it's it's a U conversion and all that stuff, but it's it's not a big deal as far as the performance of the window, except the fact that you're getting moisture in there now because there's a pretty good leak and those seals broke and they need to be replaced. And the new ones, they'll put argon in, I'm sure. How long does it last, argon? Nobody can tell because all the argon in my windows might be gone. I don't know, nobody knows. And it's always been kind of a, a question everybody asks around a cold beer that there's just no way to tell. So you're saying that the in your windows the argon are gone? I uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. But I know it doesn't have an, I know it doesn't have enough of a seal breakage where moisture is in there. These have it. So yeah. whether it was the at the manufacturing process or whether it happened on site, there is a break in there and that means that argon is gone. So okay, he's got argon in there. They're low E windows. Is the argon what makes them low E? What makes a, a window low E? It's a coating. A coating goes on one side of the glass. If it's there's two pieces of glass. You have the sun on the outside, you have the air conditioner on the inside. On a southern climate window, and this was a big problem in the early days because they only did it for the north climate. The low E coating goes on the inside of the inside glass. So you have the other glass which is clean here. So when it comes in, it bounces back out to the sun. So that's how it would be in, in the Houston area. That's where the low E coating would go. And that's more of a, a reflective barrier, about 40% of, it's like a solar screen built into the glass. Now the argon raises the R value. So you get another one, you know, and you, you've heard those terms R13, R28, you know, R, R19. Well, this would be an, an extra value of an R1, so it might come up to an R2 with the glass thickness. It's not that big a deal. So the argon is kind of an overhyped issue. It helps a little, but not that much. Tom will help you as much as you need. If you visit homeshowradio.com, click on the Ask Tom button, and then you can decide whether you're going to write to us or send us a video. We'd love to get either one. But what really helps, though, is when you get to this form, if you go ahead and attach pictures and send them to us like, like Leon did, it helps us know exactly what we're talking about because we want to do a good job for you and everybody else because we answer your question. We're answering it for everybody else, too. And that's why we post them every day on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and, of course, at homeshowradio.com.